Hello everyone. In this video, I will help you get started with Selenium 4. Uh, initially, we will create a Java project on Eclipse, and then I will provide some sample code to, to see a, a simple Selenium usage. And then I will download Selenium 4 jar files and save them in locally. And then I will use those as ex external jars in our Eclipse project. So let's get started. You already know how to create a project. So you either create one directly from the link here, or you can just say new Java project. And then let's name this project as Selenium demo. And then you can use the existing Java version you have. I'll just say finish. And now we have our project. I will go ahead and create a package here. And I'll call that as com.neotech. And in this package, I want to create a sample class. And we will call this as Chrome, uh, let's say Chrome browser demo. Now, for the purpose of just seeing it work, I will get some code that I already have here. You do not need to worry about that right now. We will go through this step by step together and uh, we will see it line by line work and then basically we will make sure that we understand it. But for now, as you see, I'm using two objects here which I cannot, uh, so Java cannot locate them. And now I will get those libraries that contain these objects and, and help us uh, import them. So now I'll go ahead to, I'll open the browser and I'll go ahead and download those libraries, I'll go to the official Selenium page, which is selenium.dev. Uh, and here you can find any information about Selenium and particularly all the documentation regarding the Selenium web driver. For us, first, we will just go to downloads here. And then where it says, as you see, we have the web driver language bindings. And since we're using Java, I will click on this link here to just download all the libraries so that I can use Selenium in Java. Now this one will save all those libraries into my downloads folder. So I will open the folder and I will go there on my downloads. I will export this since this is a zip file. I will export this. Now I'm sure you might have put somewhere, might have organized somehow your jar files for other uh, libraries that we've used, but you can combine this there for, for simplicity. I will just extract it exactly where I downloaded it, and then we will load those libraries from there. So like I said, for you, you can locate this, you can put this anywhere on your computer so that you have that organized. Now, as you see here, we have all these jar files that are provided that we just downloaded. And what I'll do, I'll go back to our Eclipse, and I will right click on the project and go to our build path. In the build path, I'll say configure build path and in the class path, that's where I will add these external jars. Now I will go to my downloads where I just downloaded them and then I will open the file I extracted. I, I will select the first one, go all the way down, hold down shift and then click on the last one and this will uh, select any one of those libraries in between. So I'll say open them. And then as you see, I have everything here, which in fact will be added to the referenced libraries over here. Now you should be able to see uh, an option to down to, to basically to, to import these objects. But even if you do not, now if you do a control shift O, it will help you it will help you import those. And using that shortcut, now we have all those libraries. So since this is a Java uh, uh, class, it has just a main method in there. I'll just run it to see how that works and whether our libraries are functional. And as intended, this will open the Chrome browser and then it will go to Neotech Academy webpage, stay for five seconds there, and then it will close the browser. All right. Like I said, just follow these steps and you don't need to worry about the details here. We will talk through those step by step and during our classes. I will see you all there. Thank you.